Have you ever wondered what a bad guy might be shooting at you with? In this video, Concealed Carry Magazine senior editor Ed Combs is shooting a common bad guy gun, the Jennings J22 chambered in 22 long rifle, to see if it can shoot more than once in succession. Plus, stick around till the end because we have a gun giveaway you can enter for free, but it ends really soon. Now, let's watch the video. Hi, I'm Ed Combs, Associate Editor of Concealed Carry Magazine, and I've always wondered whether you've ever wondered what a bad guy might be shooting at you with. One thing that we reiterate here at the USCCA and in Concealed Carry Magazine is that any gun is better than no gun, and we have put that to the test today. Now, I was mostly joking when I said, have you ever wondered what a bad guy would be shooting at you with? Because a lot of people can only afford the gun that they have. The gun that they have is the gun that they have to defend themselves with, and it may not be the kind of gun that you or I would choose to use. What I did today was I brought along our designated office bad guy gun, carried in its designated bad guy gun gun case here. This is everyone's favorite, a Jennings J22 chambered in 22 long rifle. Listen to that City of Industry California quality. This holds six rounds, it has a plastic safety, and we're gonna see if we can get it to shoot more than once in succession. That was a challenge, and I failed. Five rounds, five failures to eject. Uh, the poor old extractor on this thing is pretty much shot. What I was shooting was, in the bad guy tradition, all of the 22 that I pick up on the ground whenever I'm at a public range. So this was everything from anything that isn't short or 22 long. It was all long rifle. I can promise you it was all 22 long rifle. That said, as executive editor Kevin Michalowski asked in one of his End of the Fray videos, were I to point this at you, would you consider it a deadly threat? I certainly would, because even though it would only fire once before I would have to manually strip the magazine and clear the chamber, all of these bullets penetrated deep enough to end a human life. The deepest one penetrated 14 and a half inches. I'm about the size of a halfway decent trophy black bear. That is enough to penetrate well past my heart. Look, the 22 long rifle is not an ideal defensive cartridge. You're never going to see a cop or a trooper or a deputy heading off on their daily shift with their 22 in their side holster, or usually even with a 22 as a backup or even holdout gun. But a 22 long rifle fired out of a modern firearm is lethal. Is the 22 long rifle an ideal defensive cartridge? No, it's for putting down animals, slaughtering animals, hunting, plinking, etc. But if someone is in possession of a firearm chambered for 22 long rifle and they have ammunition in that firearm, they are armed. This is a perfect example of why, even if all you have is a 22, that gun is better than no gun. Because when I'm facing an attacker, I would much rather be able to shoot him once and then start hitting him with a pistol, even a pot metal pistol, than not have the firearm at all. I'm Ed Combs with the USCCA. If you enjoy these videos, like them down below, share them with all your friends, come back every week for more great training and tips. Thanks for sticking around until the end. And as promised, we have a gun giveaway, but it's going to end really soon. All you have to do is click the link below and reveal what brand new gun you can win. I'm Kevin Michalowski, Director of Content for the U.S. Concealed Carry Association. If you enjoy videos like this, please subscribe to this channel and click on that notification bell. We'll notify you every time something new comes out. Stay safe, and we'll see you in the next video.